is Thunder Ridge. I had my nose down. Who made that bucket, Aim? Number 54, the big man, Brian Shaw. Brian. Got his first bucket of the game. So we'll check those starters here for Thunder Ridge. We'll go along with Shaw in the middle of the 6'3 sophomore. Owen Harib, Harib is a 5'11 junior. Uh, Jacob Barnes is a 5'8 senior. Brody McManus is a 5'11 senior. And Mason Baker is a 5'11 senior. And this is this is Harib over to, to Baker trying to make things put together to get out early here and just can't control it as Northern Valley will control here with Brody Preston. Now Jeremiah Hansen to set the offense. Uh, Thunder Ridge is, is, is in a man-to-man uh, -man situation here. Northern Valley's had extremely high success with that move right there. A little ball scream, a little roll to the hole. Drew Skimper up and in. I think we've said this every <laughs> game. Yeah, and that's the reason that he leads these Huskies in scoring. And uh, part of the reason that they're so successful as a team, that's just good vision there, good ball movement. And good shot by Jacob Barnes there for three. Yeah, knocks down a three in transition, a place that you can find some easy buckets. And Jacob just sets there and calmly knocks that one down. Northern Valley resets over here. The ball is tipped out of there with good defensive hands by uh, Jacobs as well. Yeah, really active hands by Thunder Ridge to start this game. Uh, that's something that, you know, the boys of Northern Valley, when their struggles come, it comes with turnovers and kind of being a little loose with the ball. And so that's something that, uh, especially with Thunder Ridge coming out here, being active and moving really quick, they're just going to have to take care of that ball and they can go 8-0 in this one if they do that. Brody Preston fires a three in his off as, as Thunder Ridge is running a little bit of an offense there that, uh, or excuse me, their defense. It's it's a 1-3-1 one, one base, but they want to get out and get all over the defender, or all over the offensive side and, and be very active. So once they're in that 1-3-1, one, one, they kind of use it as a matchup a little bit and, and to not give it away. Now they've gone straight man again. They keep switching it up. Jeremiah Hansen pulls Good up on the, the top, top of the, of the key paint. and nails it. They're led by Coach Devon Brantz, he's his first year. I got to talk to him a little bit uh, before this one. He was really kind of excited to get back in the gymnasium and get to play. And they played against Osborne uh, last game in their last matchup. And they didn't end up winning that game. But he said that was by far their best game that they had played so far. As Northern Valley simply running the high ball screen, pick and roll to Skimper once again works. And the press works this time for Kai Cox. He comes up with the steal over into the corner to Jeremiah Hansen with another mid-range jumper. This one's just long, rebounded out of there by McManus. He'll, he'll bring it up the side. Stolen by Brody Preston. He'll have the easy layup up and in. No, he missed the layup. He missed the bunny, but the Northern Valley Huskies will control. Yeah, and that press that the Northern Valley boys are throwing on has given a lot of teams problems this year. It's not just what we're seeing with Thunder Ridge right now. Um, JV coaches have been kind of rattling their heads saying, hey, how do we how do we get these guys? And um, even the varsity has, has had some good luck with that. Is right there you see a five-second violation that's going to be Thunder Ridge's ball. Good defense by them on that, not letting Northern Valley get the ball in. Uh, but a lot of these Northern Valley kids, they're not the biggest, and they might not even be the tallest, but they've got long athletic arms, and they're they're quick. In the middle to Shaw. Now back in the corner. Another three is up and in that one's for McManus. Be Brody McManus. So uh, Northern Valley is going to be trailing in this one. 8 6 early here in the first quarter. But uh, love, got to love the amount of scoring going on here. Kai Cox takes a three of his own and it's just long. But Aaron Hendrickson's there. Oh, can't keep a hold of the ball. Looks like Owen Raby though couldn't keep his foot inbound, so it's going to stay with the Huskies. Uh, Hendrickson had controlled that rebound, and Harabi just took it from him. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty fun matchup to watch. I don't think either of those guys are really going to have their hands on the ball as much as some players in this game, but if you keep an eye on them, there's going to be a lot of energy from both those players, and uh, they're kind of going to be tone setters for this team, crashing the boards and, and just setting the pace. Here's Harabi going to fire up another shot here in transition. He's going to go no, but Jeremiah Hansen screams out to a wide open layup up with the left hand. This one's good for Jeremiah. Just just in, trans, in, in, in transition there, they're getting opportunities. And Northern Valley's press, like you said, Aim, is just uh, causing a lot of problems for the guards from Thunder Ridge. Here's Hansen. Back to set to the big man, Skimper. Into the corner to Cox. 
Ball's kind of sticking in hands right now, not doing a lot. Get dumped into here to Drew Skimper. That shot's blocked, but he gets his own rebound up with a left hand and, and good. And that right there is what makes Drew Skimper so dangerous, the follow-up on his own misses. And, um, you know, he, he doesn't miss all the time, but when he does, he's going to follow up that shot, and he's going to clean up the glass. And uh, a lot of second-chance opportunities for Drew Skimper, and he makes the best of those. McManus misses a three. Offensive rebound by Thunder Ridge. Another one. Shaw's going to be the big man's going to put it in as nobody boxed him out. Brian Shaw's second bucket Let's of the game. The He's second got four. chance opportunities. High and tight. They're playing. It's going to open up that pick and roll easy to the bucket. But this one's going to go off of Hendrickson's leg, and it'll be a turnover. So we've got some substitutions into the game. Looks like Jason Cox for Northern Valley will step on. He is a freshman. And also Zachary Barnes, a sophomore, 5'8 sophomore for Thunder Ridge. Coaches are, are begging Adam to try and figure out a way to get around this press, and the athleticism of Jeremiah Hansen comes up with another one. He goes to the ground, gets back up, and puts it in with the left hand. Yeah, and that's tough when you're the opposing team because uh, you don't want to stand there and let Norton Valley be set and ready, but you also have to have control and composure uh, because this team is so fast and, and active hands, and they want to pressure you into some bad passes in some weird situations. That one's stolen out of there because of the press, and 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 – Northern Valley pushed a little too much with the turnover. This foul is going to go against Jason Cox. Probably a smart foul as, as uh, Barnes had an opening there. He was going, to, uh, was going to be a race to the bucket to see if he could score. So the foul doesn't hurt anything. Jason Cox is first, team first. First foul of the game. It's been yeah. a pretty clean start of this game. Hanson is fast, and he beats everybody to this ball, swings it to, Jer or to Preston. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how many – steals Jeremiah has to start this game off because he's been very active on the press. Cox goes around the screen of Skimper all the way to the hole but misses the layup controlled in there by ba Baker. Baker swinging it over to McManus inside to the Shaw. Shaw with a turnaround jumper over his right shoulder goes is blocked by Hanson. Hanson's got steals. Hanson's got blocks. He's got Hanson's points. running the point. He's got, got mid-range jumper. Man, he must have some game. Yeah, and he looks comfortable out there in this one, too. He's not getting too worked up. He's not letting the game push him, but he's deciding what the pace of this game is going to be. Here's Brody Preston. Dumps inside for Jason Cox. Pump fakes up and in for Jason Cox. Good move by Jason Cox down there, being kind of undersized, but um, using that little pump fake to his advantage and getting a good shot off there. Coach Sides, Coach Brands, uh, working on that timeout, So uh, along with Coach Devon Brantz and uh, – Coach Grau holds, that's Coach Darren Grau holds for uh, Thunder Ridge. Northern Valley still in this man-to-man. -man. As Shaw backing down, backing down, kicks back out, and the ball will go all the way around. An open opportunity, but it's blocked in there by two Huskies. But track down that rebound by Barnes. It's going to stay here with Thunder Ridge. So just about one minute to go here in our first quarter. Northern Valley's put up their 14, but uh, Thunder Ridge is held right in there with their own 10 as the offenses have shot pretty well here to start. Into the corner to Barnes. Swing way up top to Baker. Baker will fire this one. It's going to be just to the left and on the ground and dug out of there by Cox. Kai Cox is going to go one on three, lays it up, and it's going to be no good, but an offensive rebound by Jeremiah Hansen, and he will reset the offense for Northern Valley. As he went around a screen, looks like Jason Cox is going to be called for an illegal. Didn't get set. That's a tough camera angle there, Aim. Did you catch it? <laughs> uh, I think I did. Um, <laughs> and it's also a tough call, but good call there by Riley Sides. Um, because, yeah, I think it was the right call there. It didn't look like Jason really had his feet set. And, um, unfortunate because that, that's kind of what the bread and butter of this Huskies offense is. Yeah, well, uh, that that will work here if, as long as he stays on the principles of not moving there as, as Baker turns this one over Northern Valley to control. 22 left to go here in the first period. Let's see if uh, Hanson can free himself up on a, on a way to the bucket here. Here's Brody Preston. He's going to try and roll. Kick over to Jason Cox, who's going to be wrapped up there after his pump fake by Herrera. Hraby? Hraby. 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 Yep. 
Okay. I will try and work on that. Sorry for you at home. There's some of these names I don't do well, and some of them I make up, and you just laugh at me. That's okay. They can appreciate the effort, though. Now, with five to go, Brody Preston will fire it, but it's blocked in there as Baker got a piece of it, and, and that'll be the end of our first quarter. What all Open Spaces Sports is, it's a Western Kansas-based company that is uh, uh, kind of has this theory of if there's a high school athletic event, they're going to try and cover it. Brand new into the game is Colton Bailey, and nobody matches him whatsoever. Grabs a nice pass from half court from Hanson to score that bucket. Yeah, Colton Bailey is a bruiser, and he, he gets quite a few minutes on the uh, varsity side of things too, and so uh, that's why we haven't seen him so far in this game. They're they're kind of saving his minutes more for that game. He's he's one that comes in and out of that rotation and uh, kind of getting back into the basketball field of things. Missed a couple games there, but you can see he's kind of getting back in the full swing of things. Uh, looks like the conditioning is starting to get back with him and uh, isn't missing a beat now. That's for sure. Preston goes around the screen, goes to the rim, throws up a wild shot, grabs glass, but that's about it. And he's trying to make up for it here with some big-time defenses, but it's going to be broken in there. And there's a few subs in here for Thunder Ridge. 53, that's Cameron uh, Cochran. Yep. Yeah, 6'1", sophomore. He's now into the game. Looks like Seth Brown, a 5'9", senior. Is also in there. Northern Valley with a flex cut. Find Skimper out on the corner and smooth. He's got such a pretty mid-range shot, doesn't he? Can we just call him Big Smooth? <laughs> I mean, I think it can stick. I mean, you're the announcer. Whatever you say, <laughs> hey, you, you got the power to make it stick. He's just so smooth and, and with everything he does. He's got a nice soft touch. Here's Brown swinging it over to Barnes. Barnes goes into the middle to Shaw. He's going to try and turn around and dump it underneath, and it's intercepted by Preston. He's going to go up the floor to Hanson with the left hand up and in. Jeremiah Hanson is getting out early, and that's his fourth bucket of the game. Give him eight. Yeah, and that's what makes this Northern Valley team so dangerous. Like we keep saying over and over again, I feel like a broken record, but uh, active hands on the defensive side and everyone getting out front on a fast break, and at least the good things for the Huskies. Barnes dribbles in, finds the open shooter, Cochran, but he's going to be just long on this one. It's going to go off Shaw, out of bounds. Northern Valley will take it. Northern Valley's got uh, these uh, five will play a majority of the minutes, and then Hendrickson and, and, and uh, Cox come off the bench. Uh, the seven of them, that's all they got over there on that bench, and They'll play a lot of minutes here. Skimper finds his opening. That's a that's just a flex cut right there. Yeah, good back side and, and cut. And I know right Coach um, Coach Brantz and Coach Grauholtz are not going to be happy with giving up that too. That's just too easy of a bucket. No, especially with an offense that is scoring, uh, like we said, 40 points a game and pretty much just half games of JV. You're going to have to be active on the backside too. You cannot uh, lose your man. You can't get your eyes off those guys because they're going to make you pay. Barnes, though, steals it on this one. Nice and calmly, doesn't try to push too much. Pump fakes and drops in a deuce there for him. They give him two on the game. Yeah, and we've been talking about the active hands of the Huskies, but also good job. <laughs> good job for uh, the Longhorns there. As Brody Preston gets two right there. That's Brody's first basket of the night. Jeremiah Hansen crossing over those passing lanes, really frustrating the defense or the, the Longhorns here. Is this ball is going to go out of bounds. Couldn't be controlled over there by Barnes, and Northern Valley will take over. As Jason Cox is going to enter the game now as Brody Preston will sit. Northern Valley has doubled up the, the Longhorns right now, 24 to 12. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what uh, Thunder Ridge's answer is here. Maybe they just need to set up a couple more schemes on offense, get a couple more scoring opportunities created instead because the fast break just isn't working for him now. Inside out that time, Skimper had an opportunity, decided to pass it out to Cox, was extremely long on the shot. This one fired into the corner. Another three-pointer up there by Barnes. It's going to miss, and Northern Valley has not allowed very many offensive rebounds. They've been controlling the boards. This pass not ill-advised, stolen by Brown as, as Hanson tried to go full-length court, and Brown snagged it from him. But as Brown came across the timeline, Cox stole it back from him, and Brown ends up with a foul. That's the Longhorn's second foul and his first. Yeah, I'm sure coach, both coaches at halftime are going to say, hey, if we can stop turning over the ball a little bit, we'll, we'll have a good advantage in this game. Um, 
but the turnover battle, it feels like it's still far gone to the Huskies, without a doubt, in this one with their with their press, given uh, the backcourt of the Longhorns a little bit of problems. So Hendrickson and, Co and Jason Cox check in here for Northern Valley. It's the perfect seal in there by uh, Colton, Colton Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. He, he, he just put Shaw on his back and said, throw me the ball. Yeah, and he plays like such a bigger guy than he really is. Standing only six foot, he's a sophomore. He's a high energy guy, kind of a bruiser inside on the varsity action. He shows a little more finesse when it comes to the junior varsity. And here's Brody pressing with a steal. He's going to lay it up and in. And I don't know how that laser went in, but it I went don't in. know either. I guess we'll call it shooter's touch that time. <laughs> nice. And that's Brody Preston's fourth bucket on the game. Jacob Inside Barnes. with a nice jar is Barnes, but this one's going to be just long controlled again by Northern Valley, just handling the rebounds all over. Jason Cox, nice pump fake and handoff to Bailey, but he misses it, just taking it too lackadaisical, I believe, and Shaw with the uh, defensive rebound. And the internal defense of Thunder Ridge seems like they're kind of wearing down, and there's kind of a gap opening up down there, and uh, it's starting to show in the score and on the court. Colton Bailey misses his second consecutive easy one there, and he kind of slaps the floor in frustration, I understand. Fired over there by Barnes in the corner. This three-pointer is going to go long. Defensive rebound and turned over by Colton Bailey. He's going to uh, – this shot opportunity also here by Barnes and missed. Just can't really get that runner to work for him right now. Long up forward pass to Hendrickson, and he puts in his first bucket of the game. Northern Valley is cruising right now, 30 to 12, and uh, offensive efficiency for the Huskies is great, but their defensives leading to most of these buckets because Cox pulled that one off, screens out in front of everybody, and lays it in. Two a lot of easy, fast break opportunities, and most of the most of these points have scored on open layups and in transition, and then simply the the uh, uh, pick and roll. This one's going to go off the hands of Stewart, Jonathan Stewart, a 5'3 freshman now into the game for Thunder Ridge. Skimper now in for Cox. Kai will sit. Thunder Ridge has decided they go straight man here and see if they can match up, see if they can change their fortune and guard a little bit more. Jason Cox to the rim. He's going to squeeze a pass to Colton Bailey. Soft shot is missed, but Drew Skimper with an offensive rebound to put back. Give Drew Skimper a big smooth 10. Yeah, he gave a little line. call out to a friend in the stands there, too. <laughs> He's uh, having fun out there right now, and you can see it on all of Northern Valley's faces. And I uh, wish I could say the same for Thunder Ridge. Frustration might be setting in a little bit right now. Um, just really can't get anything going this quarter. Yeah, Barnes, Zachary Barnes fired another three there. Two Northern Valley Huskies beat them down the floor. Jason Cox and Aaron Hendrickson, both of them beat them down the floor, and, and Northern Valley rewards them, and they'll get the bucket. As Coach, uh, Coach Fezzenden says that they did not uh, cross over the out-of-bounds line. It'll be White's ball when inbounding it. Um, as he's explaining it over there to Zach Barnes, should have taken a little more time to get that ball inbound, I uh, suppose. And I think you said it this last time around, as Colton Bailey screams around Shaw for another bucket for him. Um, I think you said it. The level of frustration looks to be in on, on some of the players here from Thunder Ridge. Is Northern Valley, I mean, could it go any better for Northern Valley right now? Blocked <laughs> in here by from Bailey. And another block shot. Uh, uh, it was just on cue right here. Could it be going any better for Northern Valley? Uh, not really, other than I guess they did let up two points. So <laughs> nearly perfect, <laughs> but, you know, any coach is going to take this kind of quarter out of any other teams. Um, and hopefully they can keep it up. There's there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. Thunder Ridge certainly is not out of this one yet, but they're going to need to figure out something pretty fast if they want to make this a game. That's, that's where I would go inside to Shaw like they started the game. He's going to get the ball inside, and Skimper's going to try and get – uh, cute and block another shot, but he cannot do that without fouling Shaw. He's going to go to the line to shoot to Drew Skimper's first foul. Yeah, and only the third on the team. It's been a pretty clean ball game, especially for how um, physical both these teams really are. First one is missed in there by Shaw. Shaw, the 6'3 sophomore. Pretty soft hands of his own in there. 6'3, nice touch there, and this one's good. Maybe that can be the one point to break the drought and get something going for the Longhorns right here. So 38-13, Northern Valley up big early 
here in the second quarter is Hendrickson's going to go back door and he will be fouled. I think Fez, Coach Fez is going to say that's on Shaw and Hendrickson goes to the line. He will shoot too. He yep, Brian Shaw down there. So Brian Shaw does pick up that personal foul. That'll be his first, team third. As Hendrickson eyes and nails his free throw. And it's been fun watching Hendrickson grow as this year's gone on. You can just see he's even gaining some more confidence of his own. Um, really just coming around as a pretty solid ball player in there. He knows his role well. Um, he knows that he's he's going to be on the ground. He's going to be fighting for every ball, but he's getting his scoring opportunities too. And so his teammates and his coaches see, hey, we're going to acknowledge your good play. And there's a great scoring play there as well. Yeah, I hit the replay button because Skimper's got the hustle on the offensive rebound and the unselfishness of Brody Preston makes an easy bucket there for Colton Bailey. It's always fun when you have a – a scoring player, you can call out more than one guy's name, too. And, yeah. Uh, as the frustration continues to grow, there's Brian Shaw gets caught um, with the ball in his hands and travels and gives the ball back to the Huskies. Just kind of got caught on the turnaround move there. Couldn't exactly do what he wanted. Uh, good defense by the Huskies there, not giving him the inside. So 40 seconds to go in this first half for the Huskies. Trying to run a little offense here. Uh, they haven't really had to do too much. Most of it's been right there, but that one is picked off in there by Zachary Barnes. And he will push, be open for a three, decides to swing it across the rim. And this is his Jacob brother will, Barnes. His brother will take it, though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> brother wasn't going to pass that up. And that's Jacob Barnes' first bucket of the game is a three-pointer as we work under 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Preston now to Hendrickson. He's going to go to the rim. Little pull-up jumper is going to be extremely strong, controlled in there by Stewart. Now over to Barnes. With two, one, Zach Barnes fires from half court. Nothing but the bottom of the net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing but net. That's right. But, it but unfortunately, it not through the didn't hoop through before. The rim, but the it, net, was, yeah. it was good. So a little more enticing. So here we go. We'll start the second half as Thunder Ridge will inbound to control it. Here is Baker working around Preston. He'll get the layup opportunity, but uh, Preston says no thank you as he blocks that one. Kai Cox out to the races, up and in. No, a bucket did not go for him. But Cox draws a foul there from Baker. He will shoot two. Defensively, great play by Brody Preston. He had gotten beat, got his feet back, and, and just used his athletic ability to start that fast break there with a block shot. Kai Cox, first opportunity from the strength. You haven't seen a lot of free throws this game, which has been um, a little bit of a different story than the last couple games we've got to, to announce for you guys. And that one's just long off the back of the rim, but Colton Bailey with the offensive rebound and Brody Preston, another offensive rebound. So and look, Kai Cox is going back to the line. <laughs> okay, Kai's going to go right back to the line. Uh, that whole sequence was nothing but effort, and that did not uh, um, please the Thunder Ridge coaches. You could hear Darren Grauholtz, Coach Grauholtz over there, trying to get him to rebound here a little bit. They gave up three in that last possession off of a free throw where they're working four against three. So um, let's see if this one works a little better. Kai Cox misses this, and how about his second opportunity he catches this one? He's 50% from the line tonight. Northern Valley staying in that man-to-man -man defense, pressuring all the way out to the spiking line. It's Hendrickson, now Brody Preston, working on Barnes, or Baker. Barnes going to have a nice floater in here. He took it around the right side, up and in from about uh, seven to eight feet in there, and a nice play by Baker. Yeah, that was that was a good runner by Barnes there. He couldn't really quite get that to go in the first half, but... Um, it finds its way home You're this right. time. To start I this. gave that bucket to the wrong kid, didn't I? <laughs> Jacob Barnes. Yep. So that's Jacob Barnes' eighth point on the night. Yeah, and he's got a pretty good motor on him, too. Uh, um, senior leadership out there, I guess. And they're probably going to need some more offense out of him to make this an interesting game, though. So Northern Valley back to the free throw line for their third opportunity to sit here and collect some points from there. As Colton Bailey knocks down his first. That foul was against Owen Herb. His second, team third, as Bailey makes them both. Here's Barnes all the way to Baker. 
Baker trying to squeeze it into Shaw. It's going to stay here with the Longhorns as they're going to have to inbound from the deep in the corner. Yeah, that's always a tough place to get a get a play inbounds, but um, we'll see if they've got something drawn up for this situation here. McManus to inbound, trying to get it around Cox, throws it out high to, to Barnes. Back to McManus and open for Baker. He looks at a three, tosses it over to his buddy uh, Barnes, and he misses a three, rebounded there by Cox. Long forward pass over to Hendrickson, who's running the four quite well. Kick backs here to Cox. Cox with a couple dribbles now to Brody Preston for an open three-pointer. This one's going to go short, but cleaned up by uh, Colton Bailey as he will go to the line uh, uh, and and comes up a bit limpish as uh, I don't know whether he got his knee or, or his back, but I, I think he's going to come in here and he'll shoot these free throws nonetheless. And uh, he does what he does. You know, Hendrickson did what he did. He runs the floor and gets that high energy and the offensive rebounds there by Bailey. Going back to the free throw line. He'll miss this one after making two in a row on the last trip. This one ends up just short. Second one, same spot on the rim. Both of them are short. That ball is going to be tied up there with Kai Cox and, and Shaw as the possession error goes to, to Northern Valley as Thunder Ridge had it coming out of halftime. And that score clock over there is ran by the by uh, by some of our boys didn't have that thing uh, right yeah. away, but they got the call right. It's supposed to stay here. 45-18, Northern Valley out big to the lead. Nice cut in there by Cox. Tries to go back outside to Preston and over to Hanson to set the offense. Here's Cox. Nice little dump inside pass to Hendrickson, but he missed it. Gets his own rebound and torn out of there by Herb. It's going to be jump ball, and Thunder Ridge will control this one. Haravi did not want him to have another easy look at that one after getting his own board. It goes back to like what I said, though. Thunder Ridge is really going to have to solidify their defense down there in the paint. Northern Valley has not taken a lot of outside shots this game, and it's mostly because they haven't had to. I, I mean, they're they're crashing the boards. They're they're working inside, and. It's working for them right now. Now the offensive boards are starting to flood open for the Longhorns as they're going to get a lot of opportunities, a lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. What do we got on this one? They got three opportunities at it. The fourth go at it is going to be a whistle and a foul in there. I think they're going to get uh, the Shaw, aren't they? I think the big yeah. man got another one. Shaw. Or no, that's going to be on Harabi. Yeah, Harabi's going to pick up his third, team fourth in the quarter. Cox with a floater going to the rim. It's going to be fouled by Shaw and back to the free throw line. Northern Valley goes. Kai right. Cox has already visited there twice in this half. Kai Cox has been a lot more aggressive coming out of the half, kind of attacking the basket and uh, getting to the line, not quite getting those shots to fall, but getting good contact up there and um, seeing some extra shots from the free throw line. Cox knocks that one down. As Hendrickson goes to the side here, gingerly holding his shoulder. Cox buries the second one as well. So Cox is four for six from the line in many opportunities as, as Northern Valley is playing the pressure defense and not allowing anything easy. That was Brody Preston who got his hand on that pass from Baker. Baker going to skip pass, and this one's also going to be knocked into the bench. And it just gets frustrating as a player when, when you're trying to connect with your teammate and time after time, even though the ball is staying with the Longhorns, um, Northern Valley is just not letting them have anything easy right now. Turn around, left-handed jumper. Good, good shot there. for Harabi, his first bucket of the game for the 5'11 junior. Inside to Colton Bailey. It was quick. It was too easy. Colton Bailey up and in for the score. Northern Valley's doing a great job of, of really pushing the basketball coming out of a make basket or a or an, a defensive rebound and just really pushing it. A long car score pass to Harabi, and he'll score his second bucket in as many opportunities. That was good vision there by Jacob Barnes, seeing the window. Kind of a risky pass going to the backside block, but uh, he put enough zip on the ball to get it there, and it paid off for the Longhorns. 
Northern Valley to swing it all the way to Preston. Now he's going to go around Harabi and going to be trapped the in three there. Three-man press. Three-man <laughs> trap in there as Brody Preston's got nowhere to go. That yeah. ball's going to be tied up. Not much you can do there when you get tangled up by um, that much of the defense in one spot. Wow, I kind of felt like Brody Preston on that one. Got a little bit tied up myself. Preston's going to be open in the corner. He'll fire the three. This one will be just short. Rebound controlled by Baker. And that's going to stay with the Longhorns there. Got knocked out, I think, by Kai Cox. Uh, trying to get a quick bucket there. As Baker's going to take the ball up here and uh, see if he can get the Thunder Ridge Longhorns offense going on this one. As Jacob Barnes takes a look, pass it over to Cochran. Back to Barnes, way across the Haravian. This time, just can't get it to go. It's kind of the same look he had last time, but uh, that's just such a long pass. It's it's hard to hard to get that one to be 100% accurate. As Zach, as Zach Barnes is going to come back into the game. Jacob's going to Jacob Barnes will take a seat on that one. Thanks for covering me there, man. <laughs> you got it. Wide open opportunity for Hanson. Splash. Yeah, good shot there by Man, it, When things get rolling, things get rolling. And uh, confidence is, is a tough man to beat. And yeah. when you got it, you just feel it. Double blocked in there by Cox and by Bailey. Rebound controlled by Jason Cox and pushes. Kai Cox open pump fakes. Going to go baseline. Cut off by Harabi. Swung back around to Preston. Nobody's guarding Jason Cox on the interior, and he'll knock it down. Nice little elbow shot from Jason Cox. Didn't really push anything. He was open. He shot it. He made it. No, and this Northern Valley team right now is just taking their their sweet time with their shots. No one looks rushed on anything. and um, The ball is finding the home. Uh, like you said, kind of when it rains, it pours, and that's both in a good way and a bad way. Um, in a good way for Northern Valley and kind of in a bad way for Thunder Ridge now as they just can't get anything to go. Yeah, McManus misses that one. Now an opportunity again for Northern Valley in transition. As, as they do get back this time, Thunder Ridge does, and Northern Valley's going to have to reset the offense. Back inside to Cox, swings it over to Hanson, who already hit one. Now he's hit two. That shot uh, is just too easy for him. If you're going to let him sit and just uh, – just <laughs> he'll splash in there man, all day. Man, I feel like this is NBA jam, and they are on fire, man. Boom shakalaka. Boom – well, <laughs> we got to hold that off for a dunk. Oh, oh, but, well, uh, we're going to have to modify it maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's – Right here is McManus is going to be called for a travel up top, trying to squeeze it inside to the to the post player Shaw and, and couldn't make that happen. So 57-22, Northern Valley's up over Thunder Ridge and rolling, swinging around here to Kai Cox, inside to Colton Bailey, goes up strong. This one's going to be long controlled by Baker. Baker looking for somewhere to go with it, finds McManus. McManus go around, Jason Cox lays it up and in, it's going to be no good, controlled in there by, it's by Bailey, but he turns it right over, and now the ball's into Cochran's hands. Now back to McManus, and it's on the floor, and it's a scrum. What's going to happen here is McManus gets down on the floor, or that's Cochran on the floor, and he will secure the ball and keep it here for Thunder Ridge. Yeah, good hustle play by Cochran. Kind of felt like, um, kind of got surprised there a little bit, felt a little out of position, but made the best of where he was, and uh, got Kai Cox tangled up there and didn't let Norton Valley get another easy breakaway, and it stays here for Thunder Ridge. So Zachary Barnes to set the offense and call out the play here, trying to get something started here. And Baker's going to have an opportunity. They move and they share. Here's Cochran for a long jumper. It's going to be missed, and Brody Preston with an outlet pass all the way up front to Kai Cox, who will miss, who will miss the uh, layup. And Baker back at it, and Brody Preston says, I don't know if that's a foul, but it was a foul. He yeah, just doesn't he, know it. He came off his feet and <laughs> um, made contact with the shooter there. And good job by Baker you staying can't, strong. You, you can't quite swing that. And, oh, I missed the replay. I'm sorry, Baker. That was a good, strong play by you. Yeah, and hopefully he can reward himself with a couple shots here at the line and just can't get the first one to go. Um, hopefully he can get the second one to fall for him. Baker right there had an opportunity. It was, you know, him on a couple of guys, but he went strong up with the right hand. He'll be rewarded with these foul shots, and it's going to be no good controlled by Hanson. Tries to squeeze it up to Hendrickson, and the ball is fought for and goes off of Cochran's foot. It'll stay here with Northern Valley. The inbound will be Kai Cox as they go on a four-flat scenario here, trying to get the ball inside. 
And lobs it up lollipop very, style. Very weak pass there. Yeah. I think he was trying to get at the Brody. And, uh, seemed like he couldn't decide between Jason and Brody and threw it anyway. So it kind of ended up in between the two. Yeah, Cox makes up for it on that one. Hendrickson up in front with the layup. No good. Kai Cox offensive rebound up and good for Kai. Baker now to McManus, tries to go inside, stolen by Hendrickson, but he couldn't quite control it. It'll be out of bounds, Thunder Ridge. Deep in this tight corner here, can you get it here? Yeah, you can get it. I think so. Yeah. There's nowhere in this gym you can't get, right, <laughs> Mr. Cameraman? It'd be hard to get a shot right underneath us, that's for sure. <laughs> Cochran trying to go to Baker is going to be stolen by Brody Preston, controlled by Ty Cox. Over to Preston, swing it all the way into the corner for Hanson. He's hit two. This one's going to be just short, but the offensive rebound controlled by Kai Cox of Northern Valley. As he is fouled in there, could have been one of two uh, Thunder Ridge Longhorns. Now Who did Riley give it to? Baker there um, with the push on, on Cox right there on the sideline, so Kai's going to get a couple more shots. And Kai Cox back to the free throw line where he's made four, six opportunities. Uh, shots tonight here's two or one and one opportunity for him this one's going to be long Shaw's inside no Arabi but the follow is Harabi knocks it down Harabi has been a lot more active on the block this this uh, quarter too unfortunately it, it's hard for one guy to, to make a difference when the score is this big but uh, that's what you need is guys still showing life out there and a shot by Brody Preston, and they're getting everything to fall now, aren't they? They're getting everything to fall, and, and Jason Cox needs to be credited with a good assist there. He he not he didn't have the shot, so he dribbled a couple times and then found a wide-open shooter in Brody Preston who calmly knocked it down. Inside shot, they go. Turnaround jump shot's going to be no good. Rebound Kai Cox in Northern Valley to push one more time. With just under 30 to go here in the third quarter, Northern Valley's clicking on all cylinders. Hendrickson's going to get this one up. Rebound Kai Cox up and in. Kai Cox is dominating the offensive rebound. And it really does make you feel like a lot more confident of a shooter when you know your teammates are going to be on the other side, whether you make or miss it, uh, to, to clean up your mess. And, and that's what you see right now from the Huskies. No one's afraid to put the ball up and into the hoop. Offensive foul here is going to be Shaw as he was trying to seal off the defense and let his man go all the way to the basket. It would have worked, but he got his arm extended here. I missed it. Sorry about that. I didn't hit the button fast enough. And Shaw's going to pick up his Second of the night? No, that's got to be his third. Yep. We don't shoot him on offensive opportunities. Hanson's going to fire one and nail it from the spiking line. Kind of ridiculous I, now. I, I hope he got that. <laughs> oh, I Clock did. winding down. Hanson fires from the spiking line and knocks that one down. He goes three for four. No, four for five from yep. three-point land in the quarter. Big numbers there for Jeremiah Hanson as we will take a break. Northern Valley up 67. 24. We were trying to debate whether he made three or four threes in that one, including the one at the at the at the buzzer from the spiking line. But uh, Northern Valley is now uh, um, trying to share the ball. An absolute beautiful interior pass there by Skimper, the rebound by Cochran because Hendrickson missed the bunny. Yeah, that's tough. You kind of just gotta kind of throw your hands up a little bit if you're Coach Devon Brantz over there. You're trying to solidify inside where you're getting beaten all game if you're Thunder Ridge and. Uh, <laughs> Northern Valley comes out and it starts shooting, shooter shooting hotter than hot from outside the arc. So it's just hard to have an answer for this team right now. They're kind of firing on all cylinders. Barnes misses from the corner, but is cleaned up by Zachary Barnes, and he will get the offensive rebound and the bucket. Give him four for the game. Inside to Skimper, and he's not going to miss that. That's his spot. That is his spot. The scouting report should say, hey, if Drew is anywhere around the free throw line, you have a better chance of fouling him and making him shoot the free throws than letting him shoot the jumper. Then, and he didn't even have his feet set there. It was just all wrist and, and, and fingers, and that one just went splashing down. Barnes inside. Good cut Nice, there. beautiful Good. cut by Zachary Barnes, his second bucket in as many trips as, as they ran a little flex cut in there and got a wide open opportunity. Inside to Skimper again, splash again. Yeah, coach is saying, hey, remember whose guy it is. And someone, someone's not doing their job right there and needs to uh, press up on 
Drew a little more and not give him that space to turn around and just shoot that favorite shot of his. As Jacob Barnes goes around Skipper that time, trying to get to the rim, is going to be fouled by Kai Cox. Uh, I don't think it was on Drew Skipper. Well, I would have given it to Kai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Barnes no, is going to really go to doesn't. the line. Skimper's going to pick up the foul from the backside, which I can see that. I don't want to give Riley too much trouble. Yeah. It's one of the things about the junior varsity game out here. You're not only breaking in the players, you're breaking in officials as Riley Sides, a name that a lot of you guys know from the years past, is, is learning to Kai do Cox a little bit of fish block there on Zach Barnes. Yeah. Good. All the way up front goes to Jason Cox up and in. Brody Preston's done it a couple different times from the length of the floor, throwing it up and finding his open teammates here. This time he finds uh, Jason Cox with a nice catch and score. Yeah, he's really slinging the ball well and has good vision out there out front. And um, Norton Valley has their head up really well in these fast breaks and is finding the open man for good opportunities. And Cochran just can't get this one to go. And a bunch of Huskies fighting for the rebound there as Brody Preston comes up with it and finds Aaron Hendrickson for yet another breakaway score for the Huskies. And they're at 75-28 to 28 now is your score. It's a lot of pushing the ball and go. Yep. Uh, grab a rebound. All these kids can dribble the ball. They're not waiting on anything. They're just going. And, and you know, it, and it is fast, but it doesn't look fast. Like, uh, they're wanting to go as quick as possible, but no one's really forcing it at an unnecessary amount of speed. Everyone's um, doing what they can and, and just kind of playing as, as one unit right now, and it shows on the scoreboard. Inside to Skimper, who's quickly doubled by Barnes and Cochran. <laughs> and this one's going to be going to get back, and it's going to be up, and then Cochran's going to get him with his hands on his back. He drew Skimper to knock this one down, and he'll go to the line. Uh, you know, Skimper with the steal there, up with the left hand, up and in foul on Cochran to the th to the free throw line for Drew Skimper. Yeah, when he's feeling good and he's having fun, he's really hard to stop. <laughs> well, you know what I think it is? When that kid's got a smile on his face, it's like death for yeah, the other team. Basketball <laughs> is, is fun for him. He's not <laughs> thinking about it too much. It just comes naturally to him. And uh, I know sometimes, especially at this JV level, people start thinking about their assignments and what they need to do, and which is a good thing to think about. But uh, to become great at basketball, it kind of just needs to become natural. And, and you can see right now they're just – yeah. They're just letting natural basketball take over. And Cochran misses that one, and then nobody hustles back as Northern Valley picks up another quick one there with Kai Cox. Barnes, now to Baker. Or, excuse me. This is also Barnes. Also Barnes. Wide open shot in there for Stewart. It's going to be just to the left. Rebound Kai Cox. Swinging the ball, nice ball movement all the way around. They find Hendrickson in the middle, but he takes his eye off of it uh, and goes out of bounds. Hendrickson slaps his hands together, knows he should have done something with that one. <laughs> was he was kind of thinking about two points there. A yeah. little too fast. A little aggressive here as Thunder Ridge uh, sets their offense here with just under three to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Brown trying to get it over to Cochran and, and Kai Cox in the middle of that passing lane, but couldn't control it. He was looking at the opportunity to dunk, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. He I doubt it. Through his head. I doubt it. He wanted us to say boom shakalaka and mean it this time. <laughs> uh, it's Cochran into the corner to Barnes. Look, swings it inside, tries to get it to Barnes and does, but this one's going to be knocked out of there by Hendrickson. Thunder Ridge will inbound it here on the baseline. Brown. Now to Stewart. Stewart turns it over as Skimper jumps into the passing lane and he holds the ball and waits for Brody Preston to come grab it. Inside to Skimper. Skimper trying to shove it into Hendrickson. I just think he's trying to be too nice. He could score them like ease and there it is. He gets another just opportunity like to knock it just in. Just like that is what you mean. Just like that. Uh, he knocks down the elbow jumper. Now Stewart for three, he will knock it in. Jonathan Stewart, the 5'3 freshman, knocks down this three. And why not? You know, If I was Thunder Ridge, maybe um, I'd be shooting a lot of threes right now. But I'm sure their coach doesn't want them to take my advice as 
uh, even though this clock is winding down and uh, Norton Valley has a very sizable lead. There's, there's still a good quality time that you can grow as players in this one. They want them to run their offense, and uh, this is a good chance. Just JV games are such a good chance for these guys to develop, I know. Um, it, it becomes frustrated because everyone out here is a gamer. Everyone wants to win. Uh, there's just some benefits, even if you're on the team that unfortunately comes home empty-handed from this one. Great pass in there by Brody Preston. I enjoy the passing more than just about anything as he reaches around, find Hendrickson easy for the bucket. Uh, uh, great passing usually leads to a great team and, and great effort. Here's Barnes. Going to kick out to Cochran, firing a three on this attempt. It's going to be just long. Stewart can't control the offensive rebound, and it'll be out of bounds. Hendrickson to play it into... Brody Preston is going to run that fourth quarter clock here. We'll get started here pretty quickly with the varsity girls action. But uh, this one's about ready to end it as Skimper kicks over to Cox. Jason Cox will fire a three. This one will be just long. Controlled by, by uh, Kai Cox on an offensive rebound opportunity. Double dribble call, not called by Jason Cox as they're just kind of wanting this game to be over with and be done. But uh, Barnes is not going to let him go easily. Now Kai Cox is going to end this one on the dribble. 86 points, Aim. Yeah, that's, that's a good offensive outing there for the Huskies. Well, I take that back. It's not only a good offensive outing, it was a good defensive outing as well. It was just a good all-around game for Northern Valley out here. 